The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development says the enormous increase in income inequality is one of the most worrying developments of the world economy over the past 200 years. The remarks come in a flagship report track tracking well-being in eight world regions over two centuries. The OECD says that most countries have experienced a rise in their inequality levels starting from the 1980s. And it says China has one of the most striking increases. Tony Waterman recently said sat down with economics Nobel laureate Professor Sir James Miralese and she asked him for his assessment on how China's doing when it comes to growing its economy, economy but not inequality. So in some ways I'm quite impressed with China because uh, the, 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 the standard thing that everybody will point to is that uh, poverty, the proportion of people in extreme poverty has uh, fallen very rapidly. But of course inequality has been going up, this is very visible because uh, you've uh, more and more very rich people every year. But I, I, I do have the feeling that they could have done much more, in a, in a way that's proved by the policies that they're bringing in now. They can uh, finance better health care and uh, schools in rural areas. On, on the other hand, if you look at a very key thing on inequality, which is uh, uh, how well the government does in collecting taxes from uh, better off people, which is, uh, is what's going to be needed in order to uh, keep the uh, income reasonably distributed, uh, that actually China has done very, very well in the sense of a rapid growth of tax revenue. I mean, much faster than uh, GDP has grown. Governments will often set up welfare programs or schemes or subsidy programs to help bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. And that takes money, and that means often increasing the tax base. Is there a best way to do it? Is it, is it better to have a consumption tax as opposed to an income tax? I agree in one sense it's a good idea to have a wide tax base and that I don't think that one should discriminate much between different commodities. To some extent you should. But you should have the same tax rate on housing as on uh, food or clothes or, or even luxuries. But uh, I, I certainly don't think that uh, income tax is unimportant. I think it's a very important part of it. To some extent, it, doesn't, it really doesn't make very much difference whether the taxation is done by means of a sales tax or by means of a, an income tax. But does a consumption tax put a certain group of people, the very poor, at a disadvantage? The reason why I'm bringing in income tax is because with an income tax you, you don't have to collect any tax from the, the lower income people. And if, you, if you have a sales tax, you're going to have to introduce subsidies to, uh, to compensate for the, the tax they would have paid. Do subsidy programs work, though? Because you look to a place like Indonesia, that money is being used to, to subsidize fuel. It could be going towards building schools or improving infrastructure. So are these subsidy programs the best way to be spending that money? No, I would want to give countries bad marks when they subsidize fuel and energy, because there are so many reasons why you want to have a, a tax on that, a tax that everybody pays, actually.